Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Alice and uh, today I'm going to talk about my Pauline number no. 1 bag. This is the regular size numero 1 from Pauline which I purchased 3 years ago. I also did an unboxing video and uh, what's in my bag video for this bag since I bought it 3 years ago. I will also put the links of those two videos in the description below and uh, you can watch it anytime if you're interested. So two weeks ago, I took this bag with me on a short trip to France and this is my one and only bag that I used throughout the four days trip that we were away. Usually, I will take a small crossbody bag together with the tote bag and or a backpack when I go on a longer trip uh, or even a short trip. That's usually how I travel. But this is the first time that I decided to use only one bag for a short trip and I have chosen Polen numero un. I thought this is a very stylish bag for a city trip and also for the kind of activities that we have planned to do. So now I will show you how I style it during our short trip away. We went to Reims, the Champagne region in France. Oh Marie. We did a few champagne cellar tours. And a bit of champagne tasting, of course. We've also explored the vineyards. And here you can see that I actually left my bag on the ground and went into the fields to film. These are, these are grapes in the vineyard. I am in the vineyard. And here I am in the vineyard. This is the vineyard. At sunrise. Of course, we must visit the Notre Dame Cathedral in Reims. It's a UNESCO site. We even went back for breakfast picnic the next morning. It's so nice to see sunrise and enjoy your breakfast uh, in front of a monument. <laughs> Did you know that this cathedral is actually bigger than the one in Paris? It's also the place where the kings of France were crowned, we were told. As you can see from the clips, this bag is very easy to style and is suitable for any kind of occasion, whether it's formal or casual, which I did. And this grey colour actually complements all my outfits. And surprisingly, it also fits a lot. Let me show you a what's in my bag clip that I have filmed in the hotel. Hi, this is Alice. I just want to show you how I packed this bag in my recent trip to Rhymes. This is the only bag that I took for this trip, a short trip from home. And I just want to show you how I managed to put a lot of things in here. The one and only bag that I used for the entire trip. And also one thing to note is that I changed the original strap to this textile strap which is much wider and is much more comfortable on the shoulder to wear. So it is like this. I will open up to show you how much actually fit. First of all, I will show you I have my sunglasses in its original case. That's my sunglasses, which is a bulky case. And then I have my phone. This is the, the biggest iPhone now. And then I managed to fit my entire camera. I'm using I'm using the GoPro. This is the GoPro 8 with a big battery pack which also is extendable as a selfie stick. And yeah, so this this thing itself is so big and it fits in the back. Okay, so this and I have a big pouch here which I keep all the small items together instead of letting it float all the way in, in the bottom of the bag. So I have my hand cream here, a pack of refreshing mints, 
and then something cool if I have headache. This is eau de colon in the in the roller form for refreshing on a very hot day. Today was very hot, 32 degrees here in France. And lipstick, lip balm, some headache pills, some wipes in case of any injury, wound, so some plasters and then feminine products, tampons. These are mint boxes which I use to store some additional medication like gastric pills and those kind of things. And more gastric pills because <laughs> recently I have a lot of gastric problem. Some more small sample perfumes for during the day freshening up and then a little bit of earpicks and more mini size eau de colon. This is a nail file just in case if cheap nails and all those things we don't want that right and one more of this small perfume and my handbag carrier for on the table so that is everything i have in this pouch so it can store a lot so i will just put them all back in here before i create the big mess this was the pouch that was in the bag and there are still more okay we still have our ticket for the vineyard tour there and a portable fan portable fan show you this is how it works oh it was so hot today really needed this yeah. so hot i'm jealous you want some i also want this is a handy item and it's quite weighty as well and then my Chanel perfume travel size <laughs> smells good and <laughs> a pack of tissue extra soft pouch for sunglasses in case I just want to throw it in another pouch which I can which I put my car key and house key so it doesn't scratch the bottom of my bag this goes in this pouch and there's still more I have my card case which is my wallet I have all my cards and some money in here a small one and I have a coin purse with some coins and <laughs> a lot huh? amazing a lipstick this is a lip gloss from Dior what else is there and some more stomach pills and that is it, everything. Oh, I forgot it at the back. The back pocket. I have a handy small map of the area outside of the hotel and wet wipes, which is handy for from the from the back pocket to take. And this is my protection amulet charm that I always hang onto my back. So that is everything that fits inside this mighty bag it's a lot of stuff huh? but this is a very good alternative to the original strap because it is much much more comfortable to wear on the shoulder all right so i just want to quickly share what i can take on a holiday with me everything that i need in this bag the pauline number one bag so you saw that in that clip that the bag can actually fit a lot without any distortion. So finally, what is my experience after using this bag for the last three years? You might ask, do I still love it? Obviously. Is it easy to style? Yes, of course. And what is the wear and tear like? I can see that there is, there is no scratches at all. The suede also is very nice. Just a little bit darkening on the sides here and yeah maybe tiny little bit on the back as you can see that I have worn this bag with jeans and all kinds of colors and it's still holding up very well and even the the pocket behind also has no stain at all no super stretch out kind of pocket even though I use it during my trip and quite often I would put something here like a pack of tissue or wet wipes yeah and the bag is still remaining in very 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 good condition the handle also has no wear at all 
and I don't even put the twilly or whatever on it. Mm, the hardware looks very good and here also for the smooth leather part there is also no wear at all corner wear nothing just of course a little bit of dirt if I were to clean it with some leather cleaner it should go away and the bottom still looks absolutely clean and no scratch at all even on the feet of the bag there's hardly any scratch at all only on two of here three yeah only on these three that I see minor 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 scratches uh, other than that I am absolutely happy that I brought this bag along as my one and only bag for this trip yeah there is no nothing the inside is still extremely clean and of course I do take care of my bag and you can see that the interior is still very very clean no smell at all as you know I pack my bag very well with pouches and I don't just throw things around so no hard scratches from keys or whatsoever yeah very good well done so you have seen in the clips earlier and also here now that I have swapped out the original strap with this woven textile strap for very comfortable shoulder wear so if we now talk about the weight of the bag I don't personally find that it is heavy and that's the reason why I took this bag with me for the entire trip one and only bag however the Pauline website indicated that this bag this model is 1.7 kg which i think 1.7 kilograms for a for an empty bag is too much so i i really truly don't believe that this is actually 1.7 kilo in pauline's website so now let's try to weigh it i will remove this and weigh it with the original strap of this bag here which i took out so I will put it inside and let's weigh it to see if it is actually 1.7 kg as indicated on Pauline's website. So I have this travel weighing scale. So I'm going to weigh it now. So it actually weighs 950 grams for the bag itself, empty with the original strap in in it and of course i still have my little amulet charm here but this hardly weighs anything so it shouldn't affect the original weight too much but it's certainly not 1.7 kilos as indicated on pauline's website so uh, i am curious how much weight i was carrying around with me during my trip so i'm going to put this strap back on that I was using and all the other stuff that I have been carrying in the bag during the trip let me put them back in so here I have all the stuff that I have been lugging around with me all the time during my trip so I will put them back in and give it away and check how much weight that was as I said you have seen in the clip this is what I have been carrying around so I'm going to put them all back in this was what I have been carrying around let me weigh Wow, it was three kilos. Oh my god, 3.05 kg that I have been lugging around all the time during my trip. I can't believe, of course, I have my camera in there and big phone and a pouch with all my essentials a portable fan and also a large case containing my sunglasses so it fits a lot and there's still room on top but of course i wouldn't suggest carrying too much uh, otherwise 
yeah. But I'm really surprised that it was three kilos that I have been lugging around on this strap. But I must say that, yeah, this strap actually changed the way I feel about the weight. It's so comfortable. It it doesn't dig into the shoulder at all. Not like this because this strap is so thin. The original strap, you can see it is one third the size of this textile strap. So yeah, this is the way to go. I hope Pauline will design more bags that come with the option of having such kind of strap. Yeah, that would be ideal. Yeah, my guess is that the Pauline website might be referring to pounds instead of kilos. It could be a typing error or something like that. Because if you look at the other models like the Numero Nuf, it's less than 800 grams. So I think this is probably more in line with that the larger size, the, the regular size, numero nuf, since this is also the original regular size. So the final question is, you might ask, is it worth it? I think so. For me, it is worth it. It's a very stylish bag, very easy to use, and even carrying so much stuff, and oh my god, the weight, three kilos on my shoulder every day, I never imagined that. But of course, it's not always three kilos on my shoulder. When I'm out and about and when I'm filming, I will be carrying my camera. So the camera would be out of my bag, of course. The camera will be in my hands and then I will be wearing my sunglasses. So it will be an empty pouch in the bag. And of course, sometimes I also film with the phone. So the phone sometimes or most of the time goes into the back pocket on my jeans if I'm wearing jeans. So just these two things will be out of the bag. Let's try to weigh it without those two things then. With an empty sunglasses case. Let's try again. Two point one kilos. It is two point one kilos that uh, I usually will be carrying on my shoulder. So two point one kilos. It's certainly acceptable for most people i believe of course sometimes i also set it down on the ground as you have seen in one of the clips when we were at the vineyard it's not something that i would often do or recommend but in that kind of situation you just don't have a choice yeah so it happens and that is why we want to have feet on the bags so that's all i have to say about the Pauline number one that I own after three years. I am very happy about it. And if you're considering this, you will not regret it as well. I'm very sure. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one. See you again. Have a great day. Bye.